All right, Joe, I, I think you're expecting this question, but we saw you drive a guy, I don't know, 30 yards downfield in that game against Utah Tech, but take us through why and what happened. Um, I, don't, I honestly don't remember that last shove. Um, it was a screen, um, and I was a bonus guy in the screen. I, I really wasn't supposed to be that far down the field, but I saw that I could make that run and made the run and added on to Chase Roberts' block. Um, we drove him out of bounds, and I don't, I don't remember the end of that. So I don't got flagged for that, and I watched it on film, and there was the right call. So the refs did good on that one. Uh, just as a quick follow-up, was that kind of in response to some of the talk going into this game? Some of the guys were referencing post-game that you guys heard some of the stuff that they were saying. Um, no, probably not at all. I kind of I kind of don't like to play like that. Um, but I came off the field, and I said it was in, in the name of effort. Um, that That's why I made that block, and um, it was a little too much effort, and it was the wrong decision on my part. Jared, go ahead. We talked a little bit ago uh, just about your your journey and, and everything you've been through. Uh, again, Thanksgiving week, it's an opportunity to be grateful. You've seen the ups and downs. What What's this week mean to you, and, and what what comes to mind as, as you, you express thanks? Um, it's another week. Um, I give thanks for another week to play football um, and to attend Brigham Young University. Um, it'll be the last regular season game of my career here. Um, many years here and um, I've, I've enjoyed every moment, um, especially as we wind down to the end of this career and this chapter here at BYU. Um, I'm just grateful for the staff um, for always sticking with me and throughout all my time here and, and their confidence and um, their patience with me as, as I learned how to play offensive line. Mitch, go ahead. Joe, uh, what's next for you after these two games, Stanford and the bowl game, what, what's next for you after your days at, at BYU conclude? Um, I'll, I'll take a shot at, at the league. Uh, I'll take a shot at, at any league, um, particularly the NFL. Uh, I'll do the pro day. Um, I, I think I have assets and the capability of playing at the next level. Um, I've, I've, I have a background of, of two positions. Um, I played three, um, if you inc include high school and in uh, playing receiver and DN, um, came here as a tight end, and then I learned offensive line. So there's there's a lot of talent and a lot of time that I put into to my skill set, and so I feel like I have at least something that I can pick out of the bag and and prove that I can do it at the next level, whether it's offensive line, tight end, fullback, um, whatever um, I can do to play. Jay, go ahead. Hey, Joe, what will motivate you guys this week to, to finish this thing out strong at, at Stanford uh, now that you're bowl eligible, you've already had senior day? What will drive you, you guys this week? Um, just taking it like another game, um, respecting the game, um, and respecting it enough to respect our opponent and to watch the film and put in the practice that is needed. Um, I, think, I think everyone has a Thanksgiving um, vibe with them, and so um, everyone will be itchy to to play this game and, and spend time with family and spend time with family throughout the week um, and just spend time together as, as a team. And so it'll be good uh, to get Thanksgiving um, on this week and then to get out to Palo Alto and play Stanford. The fact that they're a Power 5 team, a Pac-12 team, does that add to it? Does that kind of keep your attention up, so to speak? Yes, definitely. There's a lot of respect for Stanford. Um, very prestigious school and, and university and very prestigious program and, and coaches that I've been there and, and have instilled um, greatness in the program. And so it'll be good to go in there and play a great game. And um, it's good to have Houston here. Houston tells us a lot of great things about Stanford. And so um, it's just good to have that connection. We'll take last question from Kevin. Kind of going off of that, um, just because this is the last Power Five, or could be the last Power Five team you guys play before the Big Twelve, do you think that adds any anything in terms of momentum um, going into next year after the program? Um, yes, I think any Power Five team that we play will adds momentum to to who we are and and what kind of football that we play in our brand. Um, and I think playing this will um, just set the tone for how next year could could play out and. Um, set the tone, especially for the off season. Um, that's a big time where a lot of the players develop their bodies and um, they're they put in a lot of time. And so it'll be good to end this one um, 
on the right note and against a very great opponent, Power Five. And so um, we're going to go out Saturday and play our best. Thanks so much, Joe. Thank you, guys.